Alright, so this is how you emulate Nintendo Switch games on your Windows device. So I will be doing this on the Legion Go because I believe this is the best use case for it. But you can of course do this on any device that runs Windows 10 or Windows 11. So you're going to go on to the first link in the description, which is going to lead you to this page. You're then you're going to press on download here and download as a zip file. Give this a second to download. It's going to be pretty fast. I have all of the files downloaded here, but um, Nintendo does like to hate and uh, something like prod keys might get removed, for example, or switch firmware. So you'll have to try to find those yourself. Just search them up and you will find them. Otherwise, Ryojinx, that's the emulator. That's the important part. So um, yeah, but these two, you can search up. This one, you can't. But um, yeah, I'll try to keep this updated as long as I can. And um, yeah, if it will not be updated, I will say in the title of the video, outdated. But um, yeah, so now this downloaded. Just going to open this. Gonna go into downloads, then extract all. Extract, what is going on with my mouse here? Extract, there we go, boom. Now just open Switch Emulator and then open Ryojinx, open Publish and then press on Ryojinx and it will now launch. Just give it a second, boom, there we go. You can now just do you want to update Ryojinx to the latest version? Not sure, actually. Um, I'm not going to do that now, but uh, you might want to. If it works, maybe it doesn't even work to update. Yeah, by the way, updating worked. So update and uh, maybe it will run better or whatever, right? Better performance, better whatever. Yeah. All right. So I just updated and everything went fine. Just one thing to be cautious of is that it seems to reset some of your settings so like on input i have chosen my yeah legion controller for windows and um yeah it had reset everything so it was disabled and uh, just make sure that everything as is as it should have been like or as it was before like here it has actually added some extra features too but just make sure that everything is as it was and uh yeah, so nothing gets broken or runs worse. So yeah, just be aware of that. That aside, now you're going to press options and then press on settings. And uh, yeah, let's just see that everything here is, yeah. Just try to copy these settings like match system time, FS integrity check. I do have custom refresh rate on 205 because I want around two, uh, around 60 FPS on the 30 FPS games. And uh, DRAM size, yeah, that's what I have set because that's what this console has. And then also turn on ignore missing services. Do not press on ignore control error applet and enable um, custom refresh rate, which is experimental, but uh, yeah. Quick note, do not set the, uh, the V-Sync or whatever to unbound. And do not enable custom refresh rate because it will just make the game run a lot faster, which is not a good thing. It will run the game a lot faster. It will look a little better because the refresh rate is higher, but the game will run a lot faster and, will, and it will be unplayable. So do not do that. And um, yeah, even though it looks a little bad, just run it at normal. I know there are mods, but that's pretty advanced. At least for me, you might want to look at um, some other YouTube videos on how to enable custom refresh rate without speeding up the gameplay. But um, yeah, that's too advanced for me. I'd rather just play it as it's intended for the Nintendo Switch. But yeah. And for the best performance, yeah, just copy that. Go into graphics copy as much as you can here. This will basically be native. This is what it will look like on the normal switch. You can of course upscale like here, upscale, but um, that will degrade performance. And always remember, yeah, and once you're done, you just press on apply and okay. And um, yeah, let's just take what I was about to say later. Now just press on actions and install keys, install keys 
uh, from keys or zip. Just press on that. Then go into downloads, open the switch emulator folder. There we go. Prod keys, open prod keys, open prod keys. And there you have those keys. Yes. Just replace them. Install keys successfully. Yeah, because I've done this before. So it asked me to replace. Then press on install firmware, install firmware from XCI or zip. Then go into downloads, switch emulator, switch emulator, switch firmware, switch firmware, and then choose the zip file, open, and boom, this will now show you the install firmware. Just press yes there, but I don't want to override the same file, so I'm not going to do that because I already have that installed but you're going to want to press yes. And then you're going to need games and uh, games. Of course, um, you need to obtain legally. You need to obtain either NDS. Like, let me just show you a, uh, there we go here. It can either be NSP, not NDS, sorry, NSP file or a XCI file. So we have super Mario Bros. Wonder and the legend of Zelda breath of the wild. And uh, yeah, to launch games, what you're gonna do is press file, load application from file, go into where you have the game, press on documents. There we have Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Let me just launch that. Open, give it a second to launch here. You know what, I'm just going to use this as a Nintendo Switch because using it like on um, mouse and keyboard is really weird. So uh, I do not recommend mouse and keyboard for Nintendo Switch games, because that is really weird. And the thing with Nintendo Switch games on Windows devices, it will be buggy in the start, okay? It will be buggy. I'm just warning you right now, it will be buggy. But once it compiles the shaders and all of that, let me just full screen here. 44 Hertz, of course. Uh, let me just full screen. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now, boom, and uh, it will be buggy in the start, but um, that's just because that's how it is. But after around five rounds of like Super Mario Wonder, for example, it starts to get le less and less buggy because it like gets used to the shaders. Like, I don't know if I've played this map before. It might still be a little buggy in some parts, but it's nothing groundbreaking. Like here, you can see. Yeah, I liked a bit, a little bit there, but it's not too bad. It's nothing that's too noticeable. Okay, now I'm lagging pretty much. I think that's because I just factor reset this device, but it will be less and less buggy. Boom. Yeah, it's still like playable, but it can get buggy. And um, also watch out for one thing, some games, like as I can see on Mario right now, when you try to um, run custom refresh rate, the game starts running faster. That is not the case with um, Zelda Breath of the Wild. That was the settings I had for Zelda Breath of the Wild. So when you're run running some games, you might want to run them without custom refresh rate. Like, let me just go out of here so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. So there's absolutely zero confusion here. You can press on options, settings. Where is it? System. Yeah. And then switch, VSync on switch and turn off, enable custom refresh rate. Press on apply and okay. Did this just crash? It might've, no, it did not. Okay. But I wouldn't have been surprised because I was running a game and then changed some settings. Yeah. Now you see, it's running at normal or even maybe a little slower because I would have to reset the game. Now, how do I get down here? I have no clue. But yeah, the more you play, the less buggy it gets. And sometimes also remember that you have to like um, take down your settings like it's pretty hard to run Nintendo Switch games, even though it doesn't seem like it. But um, yeah, because it's unsupported hardware, right? So you have to have something that's stronger. But uh, yeah, I'm running like the Legion going 30 watts right now. Yeah, 
on maximum performance and that's what it's running at it is not plugged in though so that might be a reason like let me just show you the frame monitor in case you're also doing this on the legion go yeah you can see gpu usage 60 percent cpu 30 percent it's at around 55 degrees the cpu vr is 60 degrees i wonder how to get that cauliflower but yeah as you can see this works absolutely fine. You get an, about a stable 60 FPS. Sometimes it goes down to like 58, 59, but still pretty stable. God damn, how do I get down there? I have no clue. I'll have to look at a YouTube tutorial or something. Here? Oh, I found it. There we go. And once you catch that one, sometimes it gets buggy. Let's see if that's the case here too. Because it, the game has to render so much. Like you can look at the frame rate if it dips down. I've not noticed anything yet. Nothing noticeable. I'm just playing right now. Oh, there it dropped to like 50 FPS. Oops. That's just because the game has to buffer some things out. Let me just do this level. Oh, I'm stupid. Yeah, I looked at that for a second. But you know what? Let's just go out of here. Um, shouldn't have done that. There we go. Now, let's go into Zelda, for example. Yeah, let me just exit out of that. Yes, close out of Ryo Jinx. Open Ryo Jinx. You can even make a shortcut on your desktop. That is really good. Now, do you want to update? It wants me to update again. I'm not going to do it. Not right now. File, load application, documents, The Legend of Zelda. There we go. Same thing in the start, it's really buggy, but after it has compiled the shaders, then it is much less buggy or even really stable. It just has to compile some things. I don't know the exact word for it, but it has to buffer some things out, like some rays and all of that. It has to get that into memory. And um, yeah, that's at least how ChatGPT Ex like uh, explained it to me when I asked it. Yeah, now it's running at 30 FPS because that's native. That's what it runs on the native Nintendo Switch. So yeah, I still like haven't played that much of this game, like maybe like 10 minutes. So it will still be buggy while the deluxe, like um, Super Mario, no, not deluxe, Wonder. I will play for around like an hour maybe. So it's still a little buggy, but less. But now we'll see how uh, the Zelda game runs after around 10 minutes. Oh, okay, yeah, it's buggy. Yeah, so it still has to buffer things out. But after a while, it gets less and less and less buggy. Like now, even now, around 22 FPS, 23, dips down a little. Yeah, so basically just give it time. It doesn't always mean that it's your um, hardware that's the problem. Like as you can see, I have 67 usage on, 67% uh, usage on GPU, 32 on CPU. RAM is at 87, that's actually a little surprising. But boom, now I'm almost running 30 FPS constantly. Yeah, small spikes. But after a while, it gets better. That's my point, okay? It gets better. That's... Like, I didn't really believe it in the start, but um, turns out it gets better. And that is because of how... Let me just defeat these. How uh, Switch emulators just work. Because they're not natively meant to be used on... Uh, oh, come on. On, like... Uh, Am I gonna die? Wait. Oh shit. I'm on half a... I'm on half a... Art. Yeah, but now as you can see, it runs much smoother. Okay, wait, well, let me just get out of there. But yeah, let me just defeat them off screen because um, I don't really wanna get too deep into it. But yeah, that's at least how we do that. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, just comment and I will try to answer as much as I can. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Like, dislike, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.